Hey guys, it's Wreath from Wreath Tells Tales, and today we're going to be taking a look at an analysis for the new Destroy All Humans remake. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at the new mutants designs from the 2020 remake. So, hope you enjoy this video, and well, let's get started, guys. So, this screenshot is from Black Forest Games, the um, main people are making the game. So basically what this is, is a comparison from the original Mutants to the remake. So yeah, I'll give, you'll see a close-up of the Mutant in a second. So there's the Mutant, it's quite a bad image, but we'll, I'll show you a better picture to look up at the face, and then we'll compare it to the new design. So they look more human-like, and they have, they're bald, but they kind of have more like human features. These guys, on the other hand, look like Furons, like they're part Furon now, like here's a closer look at their face. They got kind of like the weird eyes, the bigger eyes, the big forehead, cranium, and stuff like that. So, uh, story basically of these mutants are they are being created, um, I think as I remember, in Area 42 in the game, and they basically, the Majestics in them are making these half-human, half Furon half creatures that are being used from the, I'm guessing the DNA of old past Fearon clone Cryptos Bradium 136, who is being captured and you must save in game. But of course, spoiler alert, like as I said in the video, you find Crypto 136 and he is gone already, he's dead, they've been studying his corpse and I'm get, that's what I'm guessing they've been doing and studying his DNA and that's how they're creating these mutants with his brain and stuff like that. Overall, I'm really pleased with what they're doing with this new game at Black Forest Games and THQ Nordic. I really like that they're doing these new designs and concepts. These look really cool. The mutants look really cool. I was kind of like, I didn't notice them at first in the trailer, but looking back on Twitter and such like that, I kind of noticed their designs were different. As I said, overall, I'm really happy with the design of these new mutants, and I didn't even mention that the suits are purple too, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, this quick analysis, and such like that. I don't do analysis often, so I hope you enjoyed this one. So, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe for more Destroy Humans news on Retail Tales.